in an uncharacteristic move. Piers Morgan spoke in favor of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle during his talk TV show, Uncensored, on Monday evening. Speaking to royal editor Katie Nicholl and socialite lady Colin Campbell, the broadcaster slammed Prince Andrew for his involvement in recent royal events and his speculated involvement in the Queen's upcoming Jubilee celebrations. The 57-year-old claimed Meghan and Harry's actions pale into insignificance in comparison with allegations against Prince Andrew and his recent court settlement. Is Prince Andrew trying to weasel his way back into the royal family and public? Piers asked. He continued, Katie, this does great on me, I have to say. I think if you're going to pay a woman a rumored $11 million to make a sex abuse case go away, having said you're going to fight it all the way to clear your name and then you just cave, I don't think you're entitled to just slither back into public life. I agree with you, the Vanity Fair editor replied. I think it's time for him to go away actually in the same way that that settlement just kind of struck it all out. She added, the dignified and respectful thing to do for the Queen and for the royal family is to bow out gracefully, as gracefully as you possibly can. It has been a spectacular fall from Andrew. He doesn't have his title, doesn't have his honorary titles, doesn't represent the Queen, doesn't carry out official duties. I think it's very difficult then to reconcile seeing him on a public stage. I know these events essentially can be seen as private events. The garter is privately bestowed. It's the highest order the Queen can give. This is once again going to distract from all of this and a lot of people will be thinking why. And I know the American audience that I write for, every time the Queen is seen with Andrew, it troubles them. It does, Piers commented. And also, they also think, quite rightly, that, well it'll come to Lady Colin Campbell now. First of all, good evening to you. I do think that, for example, we give Meghan and Harry a hard time. I think justifiably, in most cases, but what they've done, to be honest, pales into insignificance in my opinion, to a senior member of the royal family paying millions of dollars to make a sex abuse case go away. But you don't share this view, you think he should be able to come back. I certainly don't share this view, the 72-year-old replied, shaking her head. She went on to claim the reported $11 million settlement was inaccurate as Piers argued it was a statement of fact. 